Hi there folks, this is Deckard Spade, and today we're going to go back a little bit and start reviewing some of the episodes that I haven't gone over yet. So to start, I think we're going to be talking about our new recurrent character to the series. Today, we're going to be talking about Starlight Glimmer. Ex-evil brainwashing cultist gone friendship protege, Starlight Glimmer again gets to have some development. And I'm all for it. She deserves to have some time to have her character fleshed out. And we see this the most in No Second Prances. The question is, is this episode the right venue to do so? I mean, this is actually the first time that we see her actively working on her friendship lessons. At least, in a way that doesn't have her wrapping something up from her past. Sunburst was a friend that she made back in the day. She rekindled that friendship. And I think the important thing to take away from this episode is that this was a new friendship. Not something that was based off of her childhood experiences, but something that happened after her adult decision-making. This leads to a lot of interesting self-reflection. She asks herself, does she deserve to have these friends? Who would want to be a friend with her after what she did? And they find the perfect pony for her to relate to. Trixie. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's explore the episode. Right off the bat, this episode has some of the best facial and movement animations that I've seen in the season so far. From Twilight Sparkle's confusion over silverware placement, Big Mac's over-talkativeness, and the reaction to what are the Wonder Bolts from Rainbow Dash, you can tell that the animators put a lot of effort into the reaction times. And these only serve to further augment the interactions that Starlight Shimmer has with everybody. But as the episode goes on... Uh, I have to say this is probably my least favorite behavior from Twilight. She blatantly ignores different friendship lessons she's had in the past and tries to apply her own idea of friendship to somebody else. And when she gets confronted by Starlight about how she feels, Twilight is more concerned about how she's going to look in front of the other princess than Starlight's feelings. Please, Twilight! I know you're trying to help, but... I need to make friends on my own if I'm going to become a better pony. But do you really think Trixie's the one to help you with that? Wow. Trixie was right. You're not really giving her a second chance. I wonder what that says about how you feel about me. Oh, now he'd be perfect! That scene right there. That's what bothers me. I don't know whether it was the writers just trying to lighten the mood after something was said, or maybe they were trying to reinforce her having a bullheaded nature about something. But Twilight blatantly ignores what is being said in order to just fulfill what she wants for that dinner. And yes, we understand that there's going to be interactions between her and Trixie having their competition, but Trixie is even more level-headed than Twilight in this episode. Both Starlight Shimmer and Trixie both go back and forth, asking if they can share an event to talk to each other maturely. They feel comfortable confiding in one another. Which makes me even more annoyed considering that Twilight tears this apart. Twilight is the antagonist of this episode. She goes out of her way to put her own needs in front of somebody else's friendship and then tears it apart. She brought out the worst in Trixie and turned it into a competition. Which makes it even more annoying when she gets to the end and she has that realization of, oops. I mean, she's the princess of friendship. She's ascended to a higher level of being. This title is supposed to mean something. And she was given proper warning about this happening through the entire episode. Ugh. Okay, I've spent enough time ranting about Twilight. As I said, I want to put focus on Starlight Glimmer. She truly outshines her teacher at this point. And I understand that she has a lot to learn, but she's doing the lesson well enough and her teacher's nitpicking about the friends she picks. What this episode shows is established growth. Both Trixie and Starlight Glimmer show this. They meet, they become friends, they have common ground and understanding that they've made mistakes. The only thing that Trixie falls short on is the fact that she holds the friendship over her head. She announces she's going to do the manticore trick. And then, even after the disagreement and argument that they have, she's still going through with it? I mean, I wouldn't put it past Trixie being manipulative, but she truly believes she has a good friend in Starlight. Otherwise, the alternative is that she's suicidal. Still, the episode ends on a note where there's a quickly rushed resolution between Twilight and Starlight, and then Starlight saves Trixie. 
which I have no doubt she would have done whether she had Twilight's approval or not. At least I hope. Overall, I enjoyed this episode. Its strengths show in the development of two characters that could use the development, both of them showing a good example of what it means to talk between two new friends. Its weakness is pretty much tearing down a pre-established character and turning them into an unneeded protagonist. Then again, I might be overthinking things. What do you guys think? Please let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for staying a while to listen.